Hi guys, I'm not sure what is happening with the video. It's almost like I'm a spook. I can see throw it through myself. Uh, for those of you who know me, um, you know I, have a, I come from a Christian background. And at the age of 28, uh, while standing in church, I had a voice on the inside say, give everything up and I will teach you my ways. And then I did that, gave everything away, went on a long journey of discovering the Bible for myself. Everything in the Bible changed up to the point where I realized it's only about the mind. The mind of the ego versus the mind of divinity. Now we are at a place, or I am at a place, where I'm going to have weekly events to raise our vibration, to raise our consciousness. Even in the last two weeks, they've, they've prophesied over the years over me that I have anointing in my hands. And in certain services, I could feel the power in my hands. And I've seen healing through my hands. But it was a bit of an on-off, weird type of situation where you faith it and you don't always know when it's going to work or not. I've learned a lot about that, but now I've come to the understanding that there is an energy field around me. I already actually learned this about five years ago, but because of religion and this fear of where does the Holy Spirit now come in, um, I put it on the side for the moment. So I'm talking about people like Joe Dispenza, um, Bruce Lipton, people that are studying the body and showing how the body actually works in connection with the mind. Now, I've been teaching on that for many years, that you create your reality, that you have been given all authority, all the things that Jesus said that you are, that you are God. He says that, okay? So everything about the Bible is whether you are going to believe you are divine incarnation or whether you are going to believe what you were taught through mankind, okay? Now, in the past two weeks, I've been focusing my consciousness on my hands to see if I can pick up. I saw a little video on TikTok where the guy showed something like that. I was like, hmm, I'll try that. I still uh, procrastinated for about two weeks and then one day I was just started doing it and I, when I was doing my breathing exercises, also something we are going to exercise, I started feeling the power in my hands. Now I am nearly constantly aware of the energy field in my hands. Even this morning I did an exercise and I moved my consciousness to my feet and I could feel my feet and my hands glowing. I moved my consciousness to my stomach and to my head on different occasions and the skin started itching. So there I still need to figure out is there a blockage or what is the problem why can't I feel the full flow? Now, in the head and in the stomach, there are two chakras. <laughs> uh, I would never have thought I would mention chakras. But it's about um, areas in the body that represent something where you are experiencing resistance in your mind. I'm not sure why they connected it to certain areas in the body that I'm still learning. But I'm not worried about that. It comes down to certain places in your mind certain events, certain things, certain people that you are resisting, which means there's not unconditional love, there's judgment in some form of it or another. Today, a lot of interesting things happened, but now what I want to do, if you go watch some videos of Joe Dispenza, there's evidence, there's manifestations, there's healings, there's a lot of things happening there that will shock you. Um, where he takes groups and gets them together, you pay a crazy amount um, which is fine. I mean, if you're going to get a supernatural healing, that's perfect. Where they go to a retreat for a week long and then they focus on raising their consciousness. We have a thing in church that we call the corporate anointing. Now, basically, if you understand vibration, frequency, when a tuning fork is struck and you hold another tuning fork in the same area, not even close, it starts resonating at the same frequency. So if you have a teacher or a leader or someone that is sharing a certain concept, he is most likely, hopefully, <laughs> vibrating on a certain frequency. As he is talking, other people are starting to catch into what he is saying and they start resonating an actual frequency. 
So they, they will show you that love, anger, fear, hatred, every emotion is connected to a frequency. Some frequencies or some emotions lower your frequency, your vibration, and some lift it up. So your energy field can actually grow. I like to use the example of Catherine Kuhlman. She understood nothing of this, but she was a woman of faith with no resistance. And they would ask her at the hotel to come in at the back door, because when she came in by the lobby, people will fall over under the anointing. When she stepped into a service, they started healings happening. Now, we think, we think whatever we think, right? I was there, I thought that as well. Now that I understand that we are all connected and there's an energy field, and if you understand frequency, if the frequency is strong enough, it will start changing the frequencies of others around it. Now, even the Pharisees had such a religious, traditional mindset that could block the frequency of Jesus. But those that wanted, those that desired, they could pick up on that frequency and start resonating and actually receive a healing. Because... Your true identity is God and you are seated in heaven, all those things, which means your true frequency is unconditional love. And in that frequency, there is no sin, there is no sickness, there's no poverty and all of those nice things that we like to teach. Those things don't exist. So the mind as well needs to be taught not to dwell on those things. The Bible says, uh, keep your mind on the things above, meaning keep your frequency, your vibration high in terms of your thinking and your understanding. So I don't want to teach on this thing. I'm going to share a lot of videos on the WhatsApp group and on the pages, Facebook page and whatever. You do the studies. You determine for yourself. The reason for this video is to call you together for those that feel the resonance, that feel the vibration, that feel the call, to come together, firstly now on a weekly um, basis on TikTok, we're going to chat a little bit and then we are going to exercise our vibration to raise the vibration up to the point where we start getting testimonies from people concerning healing, concerning finances, concerning relationship. Now it's weird, I'm thinking about that now. When I was holding prophetic services a couple of years ago, nights of worship we called it, people would come to the front and they would say, I've got this issue, I've got this issue. And we would pray and whatever... And then in the week, they would say, I got this job, I got this. The testimonies came so easily, it was weird. But there was a definite frequency. We booked the hall for like four hours. And four hours is a long time. But after the four hours, the people did not want to go home. I used to tell them, listen, we have to get out of here. I only paid for four hours, which was amazing to see. Now that I understand this a lot better... We can get together, you can sit on your couch at home, we are going to have actual gatherings where we get together in the physical realm as well, but we're going to show that in heaven, time and space does not exist. There is no separation, we are all connected, these are all words you're going to have to learn at your own time. But understanding that when we raise our corporate vibration Healing is going to manifest whether you are sitting in Australia, in Zimbabwe, United Kingdom, wherever. As we raise the frequency, the healings are going to manifest. And I guarantee you this. After all these years of seeking my purpose, I've got hundreds of prophetic words. I know this is what I need to do next. It's like crazy when things just clear up and open up. Um, I've wanted to do this a couple of years ago, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't fully into it because I was unsure because of religious blockages. So I hope I see you there. I'm going to share this message, promote this message. And even if you just come sit and watch, come sit and join, just listen in. If you feel this is something that resonates with you, join us and see if you want to partake. It's really from a beginner's point of view. I'm still learning myself. My time is running out. So we're going to start with the very basics and as a group we are going to build together and as a group we are going to co-create, we are going to manifest heaven on earth.